table, number 12 in the nation. We mentioned just how special Nina Schwab was on Mars, putting up the 9-9. The second of her three events, she'll compete on the floor later on. Full. And you notice how she flared out her body, so it just helped her prepare for that landing a little bit better. She's got great height, great distance. She has won a title in this event, in addition to the distinction of putting on that bare head. I love this thing. It's fabulous. Although, don't mess my hair. It's a rental. i got to get it back later. 985 was the score against UW to win the title. For the first time, here is Greg Wagaspeck. See Grace only in this event, the senior from Florida. She's very clean on this event. Notice how her toes are squeezed together. She finished that half pirouette a little out of the handstand, so the judges may take off for that. But she made sure to hit that one. So she was preparing for her dismount from the double A. Tried to hold on to it, just a small hop forward. Grace was at her best couple years ago. Won a bar title on the road at Utah with a 9-9 and was almost as good last week, a 9-8-7-5 in Salt Lake City. 9-8-5 for Nina. And here is Maya Bordas of California as she continues in the all-around. Maya went 9-8-2-5 against Oregon State last week. She had her knees locked out a little bit, so she had to kind of rebound and catch her balance again. So usually you really want to absorb your landing, and you'll notice here she piped down. Her knees didn't really absorb the landing, but she, she held on to it with those toes. Coming up the 985 on bars. Won the vault title in the all around earlier this year in Seattle. Keep passing that bare head around. I want to see the full ensemble. I guess when they get to NCAA, they'll break out the full costume. Go. I would also love to see the full ensemble. Yogi Bear. I think that's like the mass singer. singer. Grace puts up a 9775 in her only events. And for the first time tonight, we see Taylor Lawson, first of three disciplines she'll compete in. Good start so far. She made sure to hit that handstand in the full pirouette. She was ready for that landing. And Stanford's thrilled. She's back on the floor. Made her season debut last week in Utah. Unavailable to start the year after opting out last year. Coming off a 9-7-7-5 a week ago. Bordas below her normal sensational number. Speaking of extraordinary, Lee went 9-9-5 saw her Beautiful, your chain go full. And again, this team is really good at flaring out right before they're landing. You'll notice that they'll squeeze their butt and just it'll open their hips, which helps with sticking your vault. Notice how she opened up her hips right there and she just squeezed her legs together. This bear head is killing me. It truly is. <laughs> I want to be a part of the fun. Well, I consider myself to be a pseudo horseman. I need other bear-like adjectives. Our head coach says Andy can do it all. Season I, 985 against Oregon State. Cal's not hibernating. I'm going to work on this. Come on. I, I need an audience to help me here. Just say, that's clever, Brian. I did like that. Thank you so much. That's why we're a good team. Lawson, good start to her night at 9-8. Maddie Burnett looks to keep it going for the Stanford Cardinal with 9725 on the table. We see an interesting combination here. Hot path into a Delchev. That is not a release move you see very often in gymnastics at all. I think I only saw it maybe a few times in club. So it's really nice to see a unique release move. Beautiful double layout. Stuck that landing. Well, you'll recall the senior from Seattle started her career as a bar specialist. She has such great lines that are always evident. Back to back 9-8s prior to tonight. Did a hop half right into a Delchev. 
It's kind of like a combination of a Ginger and a Jaeger. That's the best way I could describe it. Not a flat for Andy Lee. D'Souza with 92.5 on bones. First team All-American on the table and here, and that's why. One and a half. She had a little leg separation coming onto the table. But great height, great distance. And it helps to have that 10.0 start value as well. You'll see her legs are apart right there. Maybe a little form break. But just the slightest hop forward. When 9 9 to start the year against Stanford, winning the event, she was a marquee recruit from Dream Extreme, staying in Northern California from Fairfield. Best score so far for the Cardinal, we're at 9825. And for the only time tonight, we see Ira Alexeva, Richard Freshman from Plano, grew up in Russia and a member of the Russian national team. That was a beautiful combination. She did a Higgins into an Eagle grip. That's a very difficult grip. That handstand was a little short, but double front. Dismount, she did have to take that step, so the judges will take off for that. Promising to see her back in the rotation. Did not compete last week. And she opened up a little late. So her chest was already on its way down by the time her feet met the ground. Just to clarify, as I got distracted by the bear, was out last year with injury. Last week put up a 9-7 for the Stanford Cardinal. Abby Solari had to give you the backstory after this routine. She's been in a long time to do that. Front entry ball, that's a handspring front pike off, and she did the half twist out, so that is a 10.0 start value. Abby is from England. She came to Cal her freshman year, had a vault against LSU, and then was sidelined due to shin splints for almost two years. That is just her third vault of her career, and you can see how emotional she is with the magnitude of this moment. There's no better feeling than getting back out there when you've been waiting so long to compete, and injuries just kind of keep you back. Well, no, Milan Klossi created that chance, and Abby made the most of it. Good routine for Ira, flirting with a 9-8. Second time we see Brenna Nolt put up a 9-7-5 of vaults. Here on bars, the true freshman from Rancho Cucamonga was unable to compete a week ago. Her best score came week one against California, 9-8-2-5. That was a beautiful handstand. She really makes sure she gets her shoulders above the bar. That's really key in hitting your handstands. Unfortunately, she came off the bar. It seems she was trying to almost hit it too perfect. And I think when you are trying too hard in a skill, you can maybe overcompensate, and it looks like that's exactly what she did. She did a toe shoot. Her toes came up a little early. Tried to save it and ended up falling the other way. Only small positive for Stanford was the strong start in this event, so they're in position to drop this score. That is new assistant coach, Mitch Smurrow, looking on. He was a stellar gymnast at William & Mary and was part of the staff in Iowa that went to four regionals prior to coming to the farm. So good bounce back, but Stanford looking to clearly drop that score, as would be the case with Abby, but just great to have her competing again. And typically, this was be the spot occupied by Milan Flossi, former regional ball champ, out tonight. So here's Maya Lazar. The goal was to go big for this ball. She has a beautiful one and a half, and she was a little timid last meet. And Justin mentioned that, you know, the goal was to go big and just really go for it and not hold back. And that's exactly what she did. 
great height, great distance, and you know, when you go big, all you want to do is control the landing, but that will come with time. She did exactly what they wanted her to do. Mission accomplished. First of three events for the true freshman from Kent, Washington, highly decorated, who uh, twice got into the top three in the all around the junior nationals. And you mentioned was a little wobbly last time out against Oregon State. 9-5-2-5. On the other end of the spectrum, as the party looks to drop that 9-1 was what Kyla Bryant did to start her all-around effort. New personal best, 9925 on vault. Looks to keep it going here on bars. It's a good Takasha, her major release move. And a lot of the times you'll see gymnasts on the uneven bars that are more fluid, but Kyla is very dynamic on this event. She's quick and direct with each skill. She's gonna tie it together. Oh, she stuck that landing. We mentioned in the season opener against California, she went 9-9-5 matching a personal best. Quality finish by the leader of the Stanford Cardinal, wrapping up another strong rotation for both teams. 